What's up, y'all? So, I'm back with another video. Um, I know I've been gone for a while. I'm trying to make them an excuse, but it just, a nigga just been lazy. So, that's really all that's been to it. Like, after I shot that, after I first, I met that, I made that first video. Let me slow down. I, it was my birthday. I went to Hawaii. I had a great time. Um, I came back and hit the ground running, started working and stuff like that. So I've been pretty busy um, working and things like that. This is just really like an off the cuff video because I haven't done one in a while. And I feel like I need to produce more shit. So here's my video. Um, today I will be eating a Philly cheesesteak from Big Dave's. Cheese tape here in Atlanta. This is greasy as fuck. And I almost spilled it. But that's okay, because I'm playing Jenga so y'all can see it with all the shit that's up under it. And let's. Okay. And I'm drinking salsa water. Um, excuse my attire and the fact that I don't have a haircut. Um, I was showing houses today, so um, for y'all that do know that I do real estate part time, and um, I got a busy weekend this weekend, so I figured if I don't do it now, it's not gonna get done. So I want to get it done. I just got home, and I feel like if I shower and get comfortable, the video's not gonna get made. So here's the video. Um, again, you guys know that the videos don't. I don't edit my videos. I just post them as they are. So this is me, 100% unfiltered, uncensored case. And I'm going to be eating this Philly cheesesteak with extra onions because I love onions. Some people don't like onions. I love it. Um, and in the midst of me eating this, I'm going to tell y'all a story. Now, there, uh, I know a lot of people are talking about, uh, you know, current events and things like that. It's gay pride. So I'm going to give y'all a story about how my old coworker, who I used to work with when I was living in Miami, invited me to her house to have a threesome with her and her husband. Um, my boyfriend knows the story. I told him the story before, but I didn't get in much detail about it. So today I'm just gonna get in very much raw and uncut detail um his dick wasn't uncut but i mean yeah his dick wasn't uncut but i'm gonna get in raw detail about all that good stuff um first i just want to say thank you guys for subscribing and what i want to do is when i hit 100 subscribers I want to give away something. Somebody makes the world go round. I'm going to give away some money. So if I get 100 subscribers, whoever likes my video, shares my video, comment, and let me know via my, um, either here on YouTube, or via my Instagram, which I will leave my Instagram link in the description box. Um, I'm just gonna have like a random drawing where I I have more details out, but what I wanna do is, you know, it was in my spirit to give away like 10 bucks for the, 10 bucks when I reach 100. And then when I reach another milestone, just a little more money and another milestone, more and more and more. So. More details to come. Make sure you're um, following me on Instagram at the itis underscore. Actually, the underscore itis ATL. That's me on Instagram. And if you would like, um, I do have merch for sale on Teespring. And I will leave a link for that as well. But it's the itis ATL shop. Yeah, my face greasy. I ain't got no tape. I ain't got no lineup. I mean, 
on a tight line or whatever. And I just came back from showing these two houses. But anywho, so I've been living in Atlanta for like nine years, almost ten. I moved up here in 2012. And those who do know me, for you guys who don't, I grew up in Miami. I probably said that in my last video, but whatever. I grew up in Miami. And I loved it growing up in Miami. I was exposed to so many different things, so many different types of people, and so many different cultures. When I moved to Atlanta, it was a straight culture shock for me because it was just straight black, white, and Mexican. When I saw another ethnic group, I got excited. So, anywho, I've been out as a gay man since I was 16 years old. Family knew, friends knew, everybody knew. So when I go to work or when I meet new people, I don't think it's a secret. I feel like everybody already knows. Well, apparently, some people don't know. And when I say gay shit, they be like, oh my God, yeah, I didn't know. And I was just like, mm, yeah, I'm a butch queen, but I just feel like everybody knows that. I just feel like that's common knowledge. But anyway. So this story unfolds when I'm trying to think of if I was still work, if I was working two jobs or just the one. I had two full time jobs at one point. One overnight as a juvenile detention officer. And then another one during the day as a paralegal assistant. So, oh, also, Big Dave's Cheese Steaks had two locations here in Atlanta one downtown and one in Doraville. I went to the Doraville location and the line was long. But they were still cranking out food. I guess I had to wait because I was waiting on egg rolls. And they have cheesesteak egg rolls. They have beef, chicken, buffalo chicken. And salmon for the egg rolls. And then for the um, Philly cheesesteak sandwiches, they have beef, beef, chicken, fried chicken, and salmon as well. They have Philly cheesesteak fries. I didn't get the fries because I got enough bread. But um, so far, so good. It's kind of cold because, again, I had to drive home. I was doing stuff around the house. Then I sat down and ate. And now I'm sitting down eating and recording and talking to you guys. Um... But yeah, check them out. I say go to the Doraville location only because people sleep on Doraville. And Doraville has a in the plaza where Dave's big, big excuse me, Big Dave's cheesecake is. Cheese steak, not cake. Damn I'm fat. Um they have all different kinds of places to eat at. They have like um they got a Korean barbecue joint, um, H Mart, which is a Korean market. They have different um, types of food in their food court, ramen, pho, anything you can think of. They have it, um, and then like they they got some other places too. Like I saw like a um, like a beef and chicken bar. Um, they have a Bahamian restaurant in that plaza. But the food ain't that great, so don't even go over there. But I mean, like, if you want to try it, no, don't go over there. I mean, if you want to try it, try it. But I didn't like it. Um, but anywho, yeah. So I tried out um, Big Dave's cheese steak. 
Um, I'm going to post some stuff on my Instagram about this as well. And I'm also going to um, tag them in my Instagram. But y'all can Google it. Y'all can get the information from there. But anyway, so I was working two full-time jobs. Um, the correction officer and or well, detention officer. And then um, as a paralegal assistant during the day. So, I want a lovely Miami night. I had to be to work in the morning. I couldn't sleep. Oh, I'm chilling. Watch the TV. It's a weeknight. I wasn't trying to club. I was just trying to chill in the house. And for some odd reason, every time that I decided to chill in the house, people call me to do shit. So, anywho, I want to say maybe it was like 11.30 midnight. And my phone rings. This is oh, this is lady who I used to work with at the detention center. She calls me and she goes, Hey, Casey, what's up? What you doing? Little girl, chill. What's up? So me and my husband got a bed. I'm like, okay. And I wanted to know if you wanted to come over and have a threesome with me and my husband. So I sat on the phone quiet for a minute and I'm kind of like, I would have been a threesome if I'm gay. But she's like, you know, come over and come chill with us. And you know, whatever happens, happens. So, first thing that come out of my mouth is, well, girl, how you look? And she told her how you look. She said, well, you know, you like six feet, six more. My dumb six three. Slim belt, tattoos, gold, and a low boy, and brown skin, if I didn't say that already. All I had to hear was brown skin, tattoos, and go to trade. And back then, I was big on trade. I was like, ooh, trade. Oh, I'm a bush queen. I'm getting traded. But like I was explaining to my boyfriend, I feel like living in South Florida, you know, and probably different other areas too. I can't speak to those places because I never lived there, but I know living in South Florida. If you gay and you get you a piece of trade, like that's a badge of honor. I had several badges of honor. But with this particular one, it's kind of like, you know, it's me and his trade. And his wife, no, his wife looking it up. So I'm just like, okay, well, you know, I'll come through. I said, I'm not going to get into a whole lot. Because I ain't fleet. And if y'all don't know what a fleet is, a fleet is an animal. It's like a, a douche bottle for your booty hole. So I said, I ain't do all that. So I said, if I do anything, it's going to be just straight oral. She said, okay, that's fine. I said, okay, cool. Send me address. She sends me her address. And I call one of my friends and I let them know where I'm at. I'm like, hey, you know, I'm finna be here, here. Meeting up with this person, that person. I'm gonna text you when I get there. But if you don't hear from me within an hour, text me back. He said, okay, cool, bet. He already knew what time was. So, if y'all know Miami, like I know Miami, when I got this address, I kind of had a sense of where it was. At the time, I lived in North Miami Beach. That's not too far from Aventura Mall. Where I was going was Overlocker. 
And where she stayed at was the Bat Blues. That's all I'm going to say. If you don't know about Overlocker and you don't know about the Bat Blues, ain't nothing I can say. But the thing is, I feel like in South Florida, I feel like people be willing off their Section 8 vouchers to people. Like grandma, auntie, cousin, they passed away or whatever. And they left me their Section 8 voucher and they will. So now I'm in the, black, the bad blues. And I'm lost. And I don't want these niggas thinking I'm trying to buy drugs. I came out here for uh, some dick. Oh. Um, I call her. She said, I see you. Pop right there. And it'll come upstairs. I'm going to leave the door open. Like Bruno Mars. Okay. That's beautiful. It's not bad. But, I mean, I don't know what all is special about what special shit you could do with a Philly cheesesteak besides seasoning it. But, with theirs, it doesn't come with bell peppers and onions. And mushrooms, you gotta ask for that. And I didn't realize that. I just said extra extra onions. And that's all they gave me was extra onions. If I would've known for extra, if I needed bell pepper, I wouldn't ask for bell pepper. So, a word of caution going there. Excuse me, y'all. So yeah, so I'm there. So I, I come up the stairs and I go to the apartment. The door's unlocked and I walk in. I mean, pitch ass black. Pitch fucking black. We can't see nothing. But I see a light coming from one of the bedrooms in the end. So I see a light and I hear something. And it's a, a porno playing in the background. And all I hear her in the back was Come to the bedroom. So I come to the bedroom. She's nowhere in sight. And I see this man just laying on the bed, butt booty naked. Butt booty naked. Nigga laying about as long as how this was. And he had a house reservation on. House press bracelet. So I'm looking at him, he's looking at me. He said, So you case him? I said, Yeah. And he was like, What's up? I was like, What's up? I hear her in the bathroom, and she goes, go ahead and make yourself comfortable. He told me, what's up? She told me, make myself comfortable. So, I get on the bed with him, and I start munching on his bird. And if you don't know what munching means, I gave him oral fellatio. Well, I gave him a So as I'm doing that, she comes out of the bathroom and she goes, hey, Casey. Me with a mouthful of dude. Hey, girl. 
And I just go in. Go in there, go in there, go in there. So, hindsight is 2020. In the midst of doing it, I noticed he was smoking cigarettes. But I didn't realize the funny smell until like 20, 30 minutes in. So if somebody's smoking a cigarette and it smells a little funny to you, it's a chopper. I think that's a chopper. I don't know. But anyway, it's a cigarette that's dipped in a cocaine. And that's what he was smoking on. So, I guess I started getting contact. And if y'all ever had sex with somebody who was on coke, they don't stop. They can keep going. They don't climax for nothing. And it's aggravating as hell. So... As we're doing the do, I'm getting contact. And as I'm getting contact, I turn into superhead. Like, I'm doing things that I ain't never thought was possible with oral sex. And, you know, she's getting into it too. She's, you know, she's massaging him. She's touching on him. She's, you know, being a wife at the time as I'm sucking on him like I'm a newborn baby. And we kind of pause for a minute to kind of, you know, I say, you know, I need a break because my jaw's starting to hurt. So as we stopping and we chilling, she was like, oh, well, since we, you know, <laughs> quick intermission, she goes, Oh, he lost the bed. So now he gotta do what um what we agreed upon. And I was like, what was that? She said, turn around, he's gonna surprise you. I'm like, okay. I'm thinking, he gonna give me some some bussy. So I'm like, oh, Trey gonna give me some bussy? You know, train would be clean, so <laughs> I wouldn't worry about that. They said, all right, turn around. I turn around. Why this hood ass, thugged out nigga ass, nigga, got on a Lakers jersey dress? And wedge high heel shoes. And it looked like they got it from USA. If not USA, they got it from Caramart. And if not Caramart, they got it from um, the shoe store. I looked at him and I looked at her. And he looked at me and he was like, you don't like it. <laughs> and like, I'm, I'm, I'm remembering and picturing his face as he said, what, you don't like it? Like, he was disappointed. Like, he really bought this for me. And I was like, no, nigga, I don't like this shit. Like, you look like a fucking fool. Like, you got a mouthful of gold teeth. You got tattoos everywhere. Your meat's still hard, so it's sticking out of the damn dress. You got on wedges and they not secure on all, all the way because of the fact that nigga, you got a house arrest bracelet on. So, who is you impressing? I looked at him and I said, nigga, please take that shit off. <laughs> I just, <laughs> y'all, I just, I couldn't, like, <sighs> what it look like. 
looked like a woman that was strung out on coke. I didn't know he looked like a bitch that was a crackhead. And a jersey dress, a cheap ass jersey dress like that. I should have liked it was made out of a motherfucking mesh from the damn, um, little motherfucking that they make you a basketball shorts out of. But the cheap ones. So that's how I told him to take that shit off. I went back to munch him. He put my head up. Me and turned me off. So we still so we still gonna act the same thing over and over and over again. I told y'all people on cocaine do not climax for nothing. I say I got there around like 12, 30, 1 o'clock. I ain't leave that bitch about 5 o'clock in the morning. And the only reason why I didn't leave till 5 o'clock was because at that point, my jaw started to hurt. My neck started to hurt. And I wasn't with the shit no more. But needless to say, y'all, don't hunch on cocaine. Because the shit is the worst. Hi, babe. So now I'm just picking at this sandwich because to be honest, it's hard as a brick now because of all the cheese that's in it and it's greasy as fuck. Um, it's not the best, but it's not the worst cheese steak I ever had either. I think if um, I ate it when I first got it in the car, because you can't eat it inside the building because of COVID. Um, I feel like if I ate it when I first got in the car, then it would be very, very delicious. Um, I'm probably going to pop it in the microwave for a little bit, but um, that's what I just came to tell y'all about that brief little story of mine. His wife got a little mad at me because um, he told me that was the best he had, but while she was standing right there, and she just looked at me and I looked at her and I was like, well, girl, if you ain't got it, you ain't got it. But, um, anywho, y'all, thank y'all for listening to me talk shit and talk about, um, Big Dave's cheesesteak. Again, um, I will be tagging them in my Instagram and I will have my Instagram in the description box. I will also have a link to, um, my merchandise as well in the description box as well. So if you guys want to buy a shirt, a hoodie, um, sweatshirt, or a mug, I greatly appreciate it. And um, I will have contest details out soon. Once I reach 100 subscribers, I will briefly give you guys um, some information about that. But if I reach 100 subscribers, I'll give one of y'all ten dollars Y'all look out for me, I look out for you. So, anywho, thank you for watching. For my faithful uh, 13 subscribers out there, I really appreciate y'all. And also the people that just pick up the, um, that just see me on their shit and just decide to watch it. I appreciate you too. Thank you so much. I'm gonna heat this up. I'm bathe, And I'm gonna go to sleep because I got work in the morning. So, peace out y'all. Bye.